part of the fun in alpine climbing is the always changing medium upon which climbers travel. Snow, ice, rock, neve, and other mountain terrain features often provide major logistical challenges, but sometimes they also provide easier and more efficient modes of travel. To travel efficiently in the mountains or on long alpine routes, climbers must be competent. They should be able to move from rock to snow or ice travel and then back again. The test of any alpinist is how efficient they can transition from one medium to the next. A true master can move from ice to rock with efficiency, grace, and safety. Try to gain as much information or beta on the route as you can ahead of time and be prepared for changing conditions. Imagine and plan out where and when you might need to transition from rock to snow climbing. When transitioning from ice or a steep snow climb to rock, consider leaving your crampons on and climbing with them. It is good practice to get used to the feeling of crampons on rock. Start easy and work your way up until you are comfortable climbing in crampons. You may need to holster one or both of your ice tools or axes. Consider climbing with one ice axe if there's a mix of snow, ice, and rock. You may also need to take your gloves off and stuff them in a pocket to climb better. Anticipate any transition and what you may need. Is a rope or belay needed on that pitch? Is it hard rock climbing? Too hard to do with crampons on? Or can you climb 100 feet and then get back on snow? Seeing how we try to create our belays in protected areas, try to transition in a relatively safe spot. Make it a quick and efficient transition. Make a decision and execute that decision with accuracy. The less transitions we make, the more efficient the climb will be. If you have to take your crampons off, holster your tools, put on a harness, pull on some rock shoes, flake the rope, and rack up for every short, easy rock pitch, it'll be difficult to make it back to camp and watch the sunset from the comfort of your tent.